Okay, Assalamu alaikum everybody. I'm Miss Faiza Khalid and this is Babar Hassan Khan and this is Asma. And these two are going to cooperate with me while I'm going to record my lecture and they can sit here and join me while I'm teaching. Okay? And if you're getting bored, you can quietly leave the room. Okay? Okay, Miss Faiza. Okay, so let's get started. Sit down. Okay. Okay? Chalo. Now, <clears throat> okay, uh, say, all right. So uh, today we are going to talk about receptors. Okay. Today we are going to talk about receptors. First of all, okay, and. talk about receptors okay what are they and uh, how exactly they function what are the changes the receptors bring about and all that okay uh, starting up with receptor what is it okay uh, imagine there is a castle okay castle. yeah castle the queen's castle yes the queen's castle okay and this castle Nobody can enter or leave this castle until or unless they have a pass. That card. Okay. Now, tell me, can I enter into, into this castle if I don't have the card? Um, no. No, right? And tell me, if I have the card, can I pass through the gates? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Similarly, because the uh, the castle is asking for the card. Yeah. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. If you don't have, the queen will be so mad about you that you just enter your palace. Okay. Sit down. Thank you. Okay. Now, do you know what exactly queen made this castle of? Uh, I think I know. Hmm. Uh, is is it lipid? Lipids and protein. I, I am, but okay. actually the castles are made from bricks. Yeah, but this cement. queen made the castle of lipids and proteins. Yeah. Okay. So they're strong? Yeah, and now only fatty things can pass through it. Okay, the things that are made up of fat, they can only pass through it. Miss, but and, the, uh, and if like we try to bake it, this will break? No, it won't be able to break that much easily, okay? Because, uh, oh, now I get it. Okay, thank you. Actually, oh, all right, all right. Now, this imagine this is your cell membrane. Okay, this is your cell membrane, which is made up of lipids and proteins, just like a castle. Okay, and as I've told you earlier, that only the people who are the official personnel of the castle, they can only enter and exit easily right and the people who are not the part of it they cannot similarly the this cell membrane okay it is made up of two things that is lipid lipids and proteins right so it means only those substances those molecules can go across the cell membrane which are fatty in nature by that i mean hi there are two terminologies that we know of one is hydrophilic and other one is hydrophobic okay now hydrophilic means water loving hydrophobic means water hating okay now all of the molecules that hate water they can easily go across without any assistance at all Miss, right what is assistance Assistance means without any help. Okay, without any help, they can easily cross. You can say they would be the ghost. Those lipid molecules would act like a ghost. Okay, ghosts can pass through the walls. Of course. Of course, okay. Similarly, the lipid, the hydrophobic molecules would pass through the cell membrane. 
without any hindrance okay now our it means we don't need to worry about that much about hydrophobic things what we need to worry about is hydrophilic how exactly they are going to enter okay when they don't have card when they don't have those acknowledgement that could show that they are part of uh, the castle how are they going to enter okay of course i'm talking about cell here i'm just uh, linking it metaphorically all right now you see this hydrophobic we are not talking about anymore what we are do, going to talk about hydrophilic hydrophilic means water loving it may uh, it means now our concern would be how exactly these molecules would gain entrance into the cell that are hydrophilic in nature that are polar in nature by polar i mean they have positive and negative ends okay so how are these molecules going to enter for example your friend works in a castle that friend can easily manage for you to you know gain the entrance similarly in our cells we have receptors we have receptors now these receptors are just like those good friends who get us entrance into the cell membrane without any hindrance right where is the duster get entrance into the cell any um, idea by when the uh, the you know the this thing would be like open us so then it could be and okay. otherwise it won't okay very nice very nice thank you okay what happened is this that there would be a chemical messenger okay that will dock on the receptor and this molecule this blue colored molecule will give orders to the receptor that open the gates i have a friend okay mm. then the gates would be opened gates would be open and then this green colored hydrophilic molecule would gain entrance into the cell okay 
Now, what is this blue molecule called? This blue molecule is called ligand. Ligand. It's just right in the second yeah. of this. Okay, what is this thing? Uh, ligand. No, ligand is this. What is this thing? These, you see, these things are rib picture. Receptor. Receptor. I Very can't, good. sorry, I can't see the word. Okay, so this is the receptor, ligand got attached on it, okay, and it gave the message, open mm -hmm. the channel, okay, open the gate, and then the ions would pass across it, okay, okay, so, now this can happen, that maybe this molecule, this green molecule, was just the initiator of a chain of reactions, and this is possible, that when this green molecule would gain entrance into the cell. Then this green hydrophilic molecule would actually Get trigger down. so many other reactions. Let's say there would be so many red colored proteins, okay, that would have, uh, uh, that would be affected by it, that would be either promoted or inhibited by this green colored uh, hydrophobic molecule or maybe iron okay and then a cascade of reactions would start to happen okay yeah now coming up to the theories how exactly receptors work one one of the theories i've just told you that just like uh, we talk about enzyme okay receptors get attached with the ligand like we talk about when we talk about enzymes we say that um, enzymes get attached to the substrate and then as a result product is produced and the enzyme get detached de 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 from it okay similarly these receptors also work at the same pattern the receptors would get a ligand attached to it mm -hmm. and then um, the receptors would get a ligand attached to it mm -hmm. and then a series of reaction would happen okay mm -hmm. Uh, okay, now this, since this is the first trigger, okay, and this is the second trigger of the reaction, okay, so that is why we usually call this molecule second messenger molecules, okay, what are second messenger molecules, the molecules which start a cascade of reactions in a cell, within a cell, okay. Now, talking about the theories, one theory I've just discussed with you. The other theory is that, which is a recent theory, that is, um, they say when you take a drug which actually promotes a reaction, so what would happen? The number of active receptors would increase in the cell membrane. And they say if you take a drug which is antagonist, which is going to suppress the chemical reaction then the number of active receptors within the cell membrane would decrease yes. and the number of inactive receptors would increase on if we are taking antagonists i repeat if we are taking antagonists number of inactive receptors would increase within the cell membrane if i am taking agonist medicine agonist means which is complementing something that is already happening okay so if I'm taking a medicine which is complementing a chemical reaction which is already happening, so the number of active receptors would automatically increase. Okay? Hmm. Okay. Now talking about the types of receptors that we have. Hmm. We have, we are usually study four types of receptors. Okay? One, uh, the first one would be, which I'm going to uh, teach you today only in a separate video. That is going to be uh, ligand gated ion channel. The other receptor would be G protein coupled receptor and then kinase receptors and then intracellular receptors. Uh, okay, that is it. Giving, uh, giving a summary receptor is within the cell membrane. Receptors are usually protein, okay, in nature. Ligand get attached to the uh, receptor, gates get open, first reaction is triggered, it gets entered and then the second, uh, second molecule is being triggered 
and then a cascade of reactions start to happen.